It's been, it's been a long time. It's been about three months. It's been about three months. It's a little crazy, but I am here. I'm here for today. I'm here in the now. I'm here in this moment, and I'm just going to leave it at that. I hope that you guys have been doing well. I've been seeing a lot of new faces here on my channel, and I'm so excited to have you here. So thank you so much for coming on over and subscribing to my channel. I feel a little nervous. Like, I don't even know what to do. <sighs> Let me just take a deep breath right now. I've been having a little bit of more anxiety lately, but... Hi. <laughs> I don't even know how to act. Okay. What am I here to do? So I am here to just do um, a makeup look with you guys and um, see how it goes because I was really debating about this for a couple of like weeks now if I should jump on here and today I felt it and I am here. Ooh. First of all, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. I've been putting aloe vera gel on my face right when I get out of the shower. That's been helping me with my oil. Um, but then I just add a little bit of the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion to just add a little bit more hydration into my skin. And I still get oily. I mean, like I always have said on here, I don't try to hide my oils or like put them away. I just embrace my oily skin. Let's do eyebrows. For eyebrows, I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow Gel. I love this stuff. I've been using this almost forever now. Ever since, you know, this quarantine, we haven't been able to see our brow technicians, our nail techs, our hairdressers, the real heroes. Uh, just kidding. But you know, it's been it's been a hassle trying to like maintain these brows. And when I go back to my brow lady, which I have an appointment in two weeks, and I'm so excited, um, she's gonna be really mad at me. Maybe. I mean, I haven't been like over plucking them or anything. I've just been like cleaning them up. I and mean, is she gonna? I mean, can you blame me? Like, come on. All right. So then after I go in with a little bit of the dip brow pomade with an Anastasia brush and I really just draw a line under the beginning of my brow just to make it look sharp and then I just brush it up and wherever I feel needs some filling I do the same thing all right so I guess we should chit chat for a little bit because it's been it's been a while it's been a long time long while I haven't even been on here to show you guys my boxy charms which is like what are you where have you been honestly before quarantine before this whole pandemic um I have been trying to get back into school and that was very you know a big moment for me to do again I, I've been out of school for a year and like two months now but I was trying to get back in for the summer but I didn't get um I wasn't able to, so I'm going in for fall, but I've been trying to turn in all of my paperwork and get all of that situated and straightened out. All right, and then that's it. I kind of go for more like a natural brow. I don't make it too bold, too drawn out, but I clean it up with some concealer, my usual. So yeah, so I've been just trying to go back into school, um, and then the whole pandemic happened. Really, really crazy. My lips are feeling kind of dry, so I'm going to go in with some Bliss Tech. And the process was very stressful. I literally have been working on it for almost a month, trying to get all my paperwork organized and stuff. So that's been something else for me. And I finally got my confirmation today that everything is settled for my financial aid, so thank God. So now I'm just waiting to see what the school says and hope that I got some money for fall because that's expensive. Okay, so there you go. When you put on the concealer under your brows, everything just looks nice and clean. I do go over on top of my brow as well to make it look like I just got my brows did. It's literally been like three months. Not three months. Well, yeah, it's going to be three months. 
March. No, it's been two months. <laughs> My exaggerating self. So yeah, then, um, and then, you know, just like all of the stress and anxiety that I know a lot of people are feeling and going through, luckily, and not even luckily, super blessed to be able to still work. Um, I feel so like heartbroken for those who lost their job or got laid off or just like don't have money right now. I just, you guys are in my heart. It, uh, I don't even know. I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd be here today, honestly, if I were to go through that stress because my anxiety is already bad enough. Like I can't imagine anymore. All right. So what I do want to jump on here really quick and share with you guys is my boxy charm. Um, this is from the month of April. April's boxy charm was so amazing. So amazing. Let me make sure I did put a battery to charge. Yes, I did. Um, yeah, so it's just, it was, it really hit on the nail for April. Hold on. Let me just go over it real quick because I'm going to be using a couple of the products in this box. So the first thing that we got was a makeup eraser. Super amazing. I don't know where life has been or what life has even been without a makeup eraser. I, I regret all of the times that I ever have reached for a makeup wipe because they all up in, end up in the garbage and if they're not biodegradable, forget about it. So this was super great to be able to get in the box. You guys have to get this. This equals to 3,600 makeup wipes in one of these erasers amazing you have to get one you have to get one um we also got the professionals primer from uh, benefit and it's a full size so i haven't even used it yet we also got some makeup brushes that i'm not really a fan of i'm gonna use them for this makeup look though so i'm gonna leave them out as well we also got a Zoeva palette. I've never gotten one before, so I was really excited to get one in the box. This is the Caramel Melange, Melange, I don't know, but yep. And then the last product that I got was Henry, uh, Hank and Henry's Beauty Sponges. We got two of them. We got a little concealer one and a face one. And I'm really excited for these because they feel really nice, like really delicious, okay? So that was one, two, three, four, five. That was the five products that we got. Um, I don't know what the total of the box is and I don't wanna add it up right now. But yeah, we're gonna use the rest of my products to get rid of this box because my May one is coming. So I wanna be able to use the products, okay? All right, what's next? All right, so I'm gonna put some concealer all over my eye. And I'm gonna go in with a little sponge. And you know that I do not wet my sponges um, all the time or very rarely I do because I like the coverage that it gives me because I don't use heavy duty products. So this gives me the perfect amount of coverage that I need. And so far, I really am loving the way this sponge blends a lot. It feels so nice. It's like high quality. How much are these sponges? I just need to know. The Hank and Henry sponges retail for 20 bucks. That's not bad because the Beauty Blender is $20 in its own and I love that sponge, don't get me wrong, but yeah. I'm gonna set my eyes. So the weird thing about this whole pandemic thing is how everything, well, first of all, that we had to go weeks without having contact with friends. I literally went almost two months without seeing any of my friends. And I still haven't even seen my best friend, which is like, what? I'm gonna go in with the palette now. If I can get it out. I love the packaging of Zoeva. I think that they're so clean and slick and just like super, It's I love the packaging of it. So this is the front of it and these are the colors inside. Do you see how beautiful that is? I'm so excited for this palette. Um, I'm gonna go real basic today though. I'm gonna be that basic bitch today. Um, am I gonna be basic today? Yeah, we are. We're not going for anything crazy. Anyway, so yeah, we haven't been able to see any of our friends. We haven't been able to get in within six feet of people, which I thought was and is super bizarre. I think it's so crazy that we um, had to go through this. Like I. 
It like still blows my mind. Um, you know, and then all the stores have been closed as far as like other than grocery stores, gas stations, and like the essential type of stores. But like the fact that TJ Maxx and Marshalls is closed and that Ulta's closed, like really Ulta? They just closed it all on us. Just closed it on us. But hopefully slowly things start getting back to normal because we need it. We need it. I'm gonna go in with Finish Sensual. It's like a mauve type of color. Dip it in, tap it out. All right, so the color is pretty pigmented. It's definitely one to like be very soft handed if you wanted to and then you just start building it up to the color that you want it blended so nicely wow yeah and it's just been really weird and the most strangest situation the most weird the most awkward for me the most just like annoying is wearing this mask on my face one, because when I wear makeup, it gets all over the place with uh, the mask because I'm like constantly like picking at it. Like once it like sticks onto your face, you just kind of like want to peel it off. Um, and it's just uncomfortable to wear. I really do not like it at all. So I just, you know, of course got to do it because you can't go grocery shopping if you don't wear one. So it is what it is. But I, I don't like it not at all and now we're gonna go in with what is that start soft which is this uh pinky rosy color but anywho the um i'm hoping that by june everything will be kind of back to normal because i can't take this anymore i feel like i live in a whole other world it's weird but on a brighter note um you know i'm i'm okay and i hope that you guys are too or getting through it and being strong individuals because it's really all you can do if not what else can you do you're gonna lose your mind you know i'm just going in with a large blending brush to just merge the both both of the colors together and just to blend the edges a little more too. I'm on that good cushion alcohol. Mm. I like the I can go. Are we gonna go all out on this makeup look today? I think so. So the next color that I'm gonna go in with is, hmm. I don't know, I really like this color up here. Let me swatch it. Liquid Center. It's like a coppery type of color. I'm going to put that on and then I'm going to go in with another one. Okay, that's pretty. I'm just going in with this one right here. I hope that you guys can see that. I really am loving this Zoeva palette. It like glides on like literally butter. It's like butter. The way that it's blending out too is beautiful. And then I'm going to go in with almost burnt which is like this golden shade it looks darker when i swatch it for some reason and i'm just gonna put that kind of like in the center yep okay just how i want it and i'm gonna go in with that same brush that i used to apply the second shade and just blend it all out kind of to diffuse and fuse them together i'm gonna go in with um start soft again and i'm kind of gonna bring that on the outer corner to just add a little bit of depth i really hope you guys can't hear that ceiling fan and if you can apologies i'm gonna go in again with almost burnt and kind of just touch it again in the middle Let's move on to the under eye area. I'm gonna go in with some Murad hydration cream. Just pop that on, rub it in. I'm gonna go in with is again the concealer. 
And this is just the LA Girl Pro Concealer. You guys know I love this stuff. So affordable, great coverage. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with a sponge. Oh, I forgot to put on primer. Let's go in with the primer first, hold on. All right, let's go in with some primer. I'm gonna put some on my finger. I really need it like mainly on my cheeks. All right, at least we got it in, especially that I remembered. It's almost like I need to put all of my, I didn't even use the makeup brushes. I'm all over the place, okay? Sponge, blend. <sighs> Oh my god, I really, really enjoy... What is that? Okay. It's got like a really nice edge to it too, so it gets in the corners, blends out the edge of my eyeshadow really nicely, gives it like that real sharp catty look that I like, that I actually take my Q-tips and actually clean it up. So that's really nice. It's very soft, blending like a dream. We all like that. Wow, I like that a lot. All right, now I'm just gonna put some on my chin, especially to cover up those dark spots, on my nose, forehead, and then cover up the dark spot. I think this is gonna be my new favorite sponge, honestly. It like blends out perfectly, and I like that edge that it has. A lot and now we're gonna go in with the bigger one I'm gonna use some setting powder this is the Murphy the Murphy the Morphe bacon set setting powder in the shade banana this one gets a little messy but not anything too bad and I'm just gonna dip right in with the bigger one All right, and then for bronzer, bronzer. I'm gonna be, uh, chisel my nose a little. The brushes that I'm using, I did a video on them. If you wanna check it out. It's my um, uh, contouring your nose. The best nose job that you, the nose job you always wanted video. Um, I love these brushes. I really have grown to really love on them. It's like the perfect brush for your nose. For blush, I'm gonna go in with my Alamar palette. This is what I've been going for for every makeup look. I'm just going in with the dark color, tap it out. Brush it on a little bit. Oh, too much. All right, now to finish up the eyes, I'm gonna use the brushes. These are the lavish brushes. I'm gonna go in with Start Soft. Mm -hmm. Put that under my lash line. Yeah, it's a, I mean, not so scratchy, just a little bit. Now I'm gonna spray my face. And for a setting spray, I'm gonna use the Milk Makeup Blur Spray. I do like the spray. It gives like a nice set for the makeup. I just hate the smell. It smells like chemicals. I will never buy it again, ever, ever again. Um, I'm gonna go in with some brow gel just to set my brows in place. That's my makeup look. What do you guys think? I've been doing this really every day. Just like a very simple, basic makeup look. You know, like not too much and not too little. Um, so yeah, I'm so happy that I got to be here with you guys today once again after being out and gone for so long. Like this has been, this has been real interesting. And thank you guys for being so patient for those who are still going to stick around. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that you guys are staying safe during this epidemic. I hope that you guys are pushing through and being strong individuals and not losing your shit. Because I know a lot of us are. I was one of them until I started like sipping on some water. 
No, but seriously, all jokes aside though. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys very soon on another video coming like next week, hopefully. My boxy charm is gonna be here in like a week, so I definitely wanna share with you guys my opinions and thoughts on it because last month's box was on freaking point. So thank you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.